So I've been carnivore for about six months, a slight deviation for like two or three weeks with a tiny bit of fruit. It was not working for me, so we're back to carny six months straight, basically. There's no diet flip-flop. You're not allowed to call that on me. So I've been getting into some strange places. We want to talk about some raw meat, salt, electrolytes, digestion, corn. He's walking somewhere. So let's talk about the pros and cons of raw meat on a carnivore diet. The reality is it's worse eating raw meat. It's kind of, it's not as fun at all. People think you're weird as hell and you are. You're even debating eating raw meat. It's just, it grosses people out for some reason. Just seeing it, seeing someone eat it, you're like, what are you doing? Like if your YouTube channel is based off you eating raw meat and you somehow think people want to see more of it, and you're wondering like, why am I struggling? Because you're gross as hell and nobody wants to see it. Nobody wants to eat with you. My fiance will come by sometimes like, wow. I can tell she's looking at a freak show. It's not with interest that she's thinking of trying it herself. I'll tell you that much. But like, it's weird. It's just weird. And the hard part is, here's what I've noticed. I eat one meal a day. I used to look forward to that meal. It was like a real event. Like I do all this work, I'm out here, I'm sitting on a bench grounded, I'm selling Q-Link sales, there's a two for one sale down below, I can't even believe it. Ow. You're buying one, by the way? Still going, two for one sale, Q-Link, all the time. You'll feel better, won't you? Huh? You have one and you feel better. But I used to look forward to these meals so much, like it was great and the cooking process, what the hell, hey buddy, hey little buddy. That scared the hell out of me. It looked like a snake leopard, but it was a sparrow. So like you get home, it's like, oh, okay, time to cook. You got ground beef on the stove, the smells. It's like a, an event of religious history. It's beautiful. That's all gone. You know what I get to go home to? It's raw meat in a package on the fridge. It's just coming to room temperature right now. That's what's happening with it. So it's warm somewhat, not really, it's still cold. And that's my meal. And it's so bland and hardly tastes like anything. It's like your tongue tastes like nothing and then you add raw meat and nothing happened. Nothing different happened. It's the least pleasurable thing ever, especially fat, raw suet. And I'm trying to up the fat lately just to fix digestion. And I tell you, that's the least desirable thing. If it was just steaks, I could do it raw. That's where all the taste is. The fat, which is what you need the most of to be successful long term, has the least taste. And I've been going no salt because eventually you adapt on a carnivore diet and you no longer spill all your salt. And I was retaining water in my legs and it just could never feel super hydrated something was off with it so i'm like maybe i should just remove salt and the swelling went away i feel more hydrated like yeah this is the truth but now you ever had raw beef suet without salt it's like it's not even a candle i wish i could eat candles a beeswax candle right now that would be amazing so like i don't know what to even do about it I think coconut oil would taste better. I was trying olive oil, but it was like, it's oil, it's liquid oil and then I'll get nauseous. So you have to refrigerate it, but olive oil never solidifies. So I'm thinking of making a mix of like coconut oil and olive oil in the fridge, leave it in there, and then you bring it out, add your raw meat to that. That's the life I'm living. But like, I feel better. It's just an increase. I feel like it digests better raw meat and it's good. It's a good thing. It's just so sad to eat. It's like, ah, I made raw meat and notes so I don't forget anything. So no joy or taste. Satiation also feels different. I feel like I'm not as satiated and I just stop due to like, what am I even doing? Like I just measure my food now because I'm trying to see how much fat can I eat and not get nauseous and still feel good. So I'm upping it. So I'm like over like 220 grams of fat in one meal. 
and it seems to be going okay. But like, I just, I finish that and then I move on. I'm trying to get one gram per pound of protein. I might even lower it further, but I feel like that's what's making me a little constipated, side rant. I've been doing these salt water flushes. Even though I'm no salt, I need a new type of thing so I can avoid salt. But I did one the other day because I didn't go for like five or six days. And I was like, okay, this is getting crazy. Let's do a salt water flush. I just absorbed it. There was no flush. I just drank salt. My body's like, thank you. I'm like, no, you have to pay back by releasing all this stuff that's stabbing my colon right now. And it didn't. So I did an enema and then the floodgates came out. And you hear all these carnivores say, oh, we're not constipated. What? You think I'm constipated? You think you absorb all this meat, right? That's why you're not going often? Do an enema, you dick. Do a salt water flush and it'll come out. And you'll be like, oh, there was a lot of stuff in there. It's totally in there. It's just slow as hell. It never digests. So like, I need to fix that, man. Because things stay too long in here. That's not good. So like, I'm looking at two water flushes a week. Salt water flushes. Or like a laxative. I just, I don't know what happened to my gut where it just doesn't seem to want to poo on its own. So digestion's been just a little off, even though it's a million times better than vegan. Like there's no gas, there's barely any pain, the odd cramp, but it's like pretty good. And I used to have normal bowel movements before the salt water flushing, but I don't know, man. I just, I don't want it in my body. I just want to get things out and that's how it should be. The main benefit of eating raw meat is not only do you not have to cook, sometimes that is the fun process, but if you hate cooking, then you don't have to cook anymore. You don't have to wait. You just go home, oh, I'm hungry, eat then. Boom, right there, it's right ready. The grease is gone. That's the biggest concern of a carnivore kitchen. Like, imagine owning a house. Like, you're clogging your drains every day. You have to devise ways where you're like, napkin up the grease and throw that out or you're drinking the grease down when it's liquid like that rendered fat that's just nausea town for me but it's been really nice to not have this greasy kitchen anymore it's just raw meat boom once you don't cook the fat it stays in a white form and it doesn't liquidize and come out and then mess up your sink so it's like oh got a nice clean sink it's much easier it's easy it's like fruitarian it's like oh Mono meal, watermelon, boom, slice, scoop. Only it's disgusting raw meat with no flavor. One thing that makes me think we're not meant to eat raw meat, and this kind of completely debunks the whole raw meat theory, I would say a good 90% of any animal is completely inedible raw to human beings. What are you even gonna do with it? Like a lamb leg? Go take a bite of one. Have fun with that. You, you wouldn't even rip off a piece. And you're chewing, you're like, that just doesn't break down, does it? Like, what would you even do? There's so much of an animal that you could not eat unless you maybe slice it thinly against the grain. And I'm sure there's ways to do it, but just like in nature, like any lion doesn't think of that. They just rip, swallow, gulp, and nap for the rest of the day. 23 hour naps. But it just got me thinking if you killed an animal and then you were like, okay, let's eat this raw. It's like, okay, there's not much. There's the tenderloin and a couple steaks. And I don't know, you could grind it with machines, but are we really designed to eat that? Like, I don't know, it just feels more like we kill something and then, wow, cooking allows us to utilize every single piece of it. You can open up the marrow and like, you're roasting the lamb leg and now it's super tender. And like every little thing, boom. You're boiling the bones to get minerals out and gelatinized gut healing soups. It's like, yeah, that works. What do raw foodists do? It's like, oh, can't eat any of that. You would just have to get a meat grinder and I don't know, I should try it one time. I did in Thailand. I ground a brisket. It took me half an hour to explain the damn thing to him. I brought him my beef brisket, like fatty cut of meat. And I was like, can you grind this for me? He's like, what? Ground. And then I was like pointing to the ground beef. This, this, turn this into that. 
And he's like, I just don't, come on. Oh, man, ground beef. And I'm translating on my phone, like, ground beef. And he's like, what? It's not fucking. So it's nice to be back home. Not that there's one white person in this damn city. There's not one. It's India. I live in India. That's all I know for sure. But side rant complete. So like raw meat, I don't know, man. It's not very exciting. It's, I feel like it's a better mountain to be on. It's like it's, you get rid of food addictions because your food's so boring and you feel better. I don't know, man. Something's off with it, definitely. And I look forward to having some cooked meat someday. But I've just been doing mostly raw meat lately. I still have a bunch of cans of salmon, so those are cooked. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But we're just going, rolling with it. Seeing it's the experiment of life. You got to see for yourself. Like, is raw meat really better? And try it. You might notice, like, wow, that really does digest faster and better. And I don't feel like this heavy meat sack sitting in there. Give it a shot. So what do you think? Parasites? You're crazy. Parasites are good for you. You don't even know that? That's crazy. You're crazy. Just thumb up the video. You could thumb it down, but it's because when you go to barbecues at your family reunion, you grab the meat off the grill and you just put it on your plate and wait for the others to have their cooked meat. And when they look at you with a concerning grin, you start chewing your nasty raw meat in front of your family and you are now out of the will. So good luck with that. And I will be leaving now. I get to go eat raw meat when I get home. I'm having ground beef and a steak, a ribeye steak all 100% grass-fed, and the beef suet, which I pull out of the fridge, so that's cold and waxy, like a candle, like I wish it was a candle. And that's my meal, and it's pretty bad. It's not good, and some egg yolks. I'm cracking the egg yolks on top of the suet for some flavor. It works. I'll leave. It's not a great place. I hope this isn't, I hope I don't heal doing this, because it's so boring. It's not even fun to look forward to sucks save me from myself i'll leave hey subscribe for my last